one um one over 15 or 14 is okay so i'm just gonna click on okay so you can see right now it's looking more realistic so this is our before and this is the after you can see i've added realistic textures to this image have you ever been in a situation where after you do your um focus separation you feel the image is looking too smooth and it lacks texture in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can create realistic textures using photoshop so let's get started so the first thing you are going to do just create a new empty layer and after that you come to your edit and you come to your fill and you fill with 50 percent gray and mood is on normal opacity is 100 and make sure this preserve transparency is unchecked and just click on ok so we're going to get this gray looking image right here so what we're going to do right now we're going to convert this layer into a smart filter so just come to filter and convert for smart filter and click on ok and the reason why i convert it to smart filter it's so that if we make any adjustment we can easily go back and change the adjustment if we feel it's too much or if we don't like it we can just easily go back and make adjustments to it so after converting for smart filter the next thing you are going to do you come to your filter right here and you come to your camera roll filter so once you open your camera roll filter what you are going to do is look for your effects so just click on your effects if you can't find this effect or if you are using you know, an older version of photoshop just look for your fx layers so just click on your effects or fx so you're going to see greens so just um so what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to add greens to this image so i'm just going to add uh let's say 70 or 75 so i'm going to add greens of 75 and i'm just going to add um size of about 70 and um for the roughness i'm just going to increase it to i think 62 or 65 and uh I'll come back to my size i just increase my size all the way to 100 and um click on okay and since we have already converted this to a smart filter we can easily go back and change any adjustment we make if we feel we don't like it so after that the next thing i'm going to do i'll just come to my blend mode and change my blend mode to overlay and let me just zoom in so you can see this noise we added to this image is not look, making the image look realistic and i'm going to show you how to make it look realistic right now so to do that all you have to do is come to your filter and you come to your stylize and click on your emboss so once you click on your emboss the tip right here is to um make sure this angle right here is set to where your light is coming from so for my own the lights for this image is coming from this part this side of the image so i'm just going to move my arrows to the left side of this image like this because the light is coming from there so if the light is coming from the top i'm just going to move this to the top and if it's coming from the right i'm just going to move it to the right like this so make sure you take note of this it's very important so i'm just going to move mine to the left because the light is coming from the, the left side so for the height i'm just going to leave my height in um two and i'm just going to increase my amount one um one over 15 or 14 is okay so i'm just going to click on okay so you can see right now it's looking more realistic so this is our before and this is the after you can see i've added realistic textures to this image so the next thing i'm going to do to even make to make it look even more realistic i'm just going to come to my filter i come to my blur and i click on gaussian blur and for my gaussian blur i'm just going to blur it with a radius of about 1.0 and click on ok so you can see it's looking more realistic right now so these are before and these are after you can see we have added realistic textures to this image but you don't want to add the textures to all the whole image you just want to add it to a, a particular part of the image that you feel lacks a lot of texture so to do that all you have to do is come to your layer mask create a layer mask and just invert this layer mask by clicking on ctrl i to invert so you can see we've hide those effects on this image so to review those effects in the particular place which you want like the cheek right here i feel it does not have a lot of texture so just pick your normal brush to make sure your foreground is set to white and make sure your flow is set to 20 like that and just paint on the um just brush on the part which you want to add the um texture on so i'm just going to brush on this part right here to add textures on the cheek like this 
and i'm going to brush on this nose like this to add texture here and also on this side like this to add textures here like this so this is just an example so if you are touching an image just look for any place you feel lacks texture and just paint on it to add texture to those parts like that so i feel i feel this one it's okay and i'm just going to add texture down here a little bit as well so i'm just going to add texture to the neck because i feel the neck lack texture so i'm just going to add texture to the neck as well so you can see it's looking realistic so let me quickly show you the before and after so this is the before just look at the neck and this is the after you can see the texture looking more realistic and another thing you can do you can choose to just feather it a little bit and after that you can choose to just reduce the opacity a little bit to make it to look, make it look more realistic like this so guys that's how you add realistic texture to your image using photoshop i hope you like this video and i hope you learned something for this video if you do make sure to give this video a like so more people can see this video and learn from this video as well and also if you want to learn how to retouch um beauty headshot like this from start to finish make sure to click on this video showing your screen right now i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative